and welcome to the second Country Far video walk. Um, today, hot sunny day, we've come to the southern Cotswolds. So this is a rather unknown corner uh, of, of you know, Cotswolds, well known. People love to visit it for the summer holidays in places like Chipping, Camden, Boughton on the water, normally thronged with visitors. But we're in a little hamlet called West Kington, south Cotswolds, south of the M4. Nobody comes here, it's top secret. It's one of my favorite walks. Um, it's quite pertinent because this month in the magazine you'll see that we've got readers' favourite walks, so I thought I'd show you one of mine. Um, so we're going to take you from this lovely village, you can see a sort of beautiful Cotswold stone behind, very romantic, out along this little stream, out into the countryside, along a valley, and then we'll come back over the Cotswold Plateau. Hopefully you'll see some, some nice wildlife, there's loads of butterflies, wildflowers. I mean, what a difference a few weeks makes. It is utterly heavenly here. After an amazingly cold spring, um, summer's really arrived. June and July have been absolutely amazing. And all these flowers that were held back and held back and held back, suddenly the countryside's just so, so full of life. There are, it's a great butterfly summer, but as you can see behind me and beside me, flowers everywhere. These, I think, are meadow sweet. And this is gonna be a test of my wildflower knowledge here. Meadow sweet is, has a really nice kind of sweet honey flavour and people use it for making, or well, certainly in medieval times we've used it for making beautiful country wines. Lots of bees, we can hear swallows around. Um, there are yellow hammers up on the, up on the ridge there. So yeah, it's, it just feels like the whole world is alive and, uh, and the horseflies are out too, so there's good and bad. <laughs> This is, this is amazing what we found here. It's the remains of a crayfish, which something, probably an otter, um, although I don't know enough about these things, but here it is, just the hard ex uh, external skeleton left on this rock. Something's had a lovely feast there. Um, must mean there's crayfish in this stream, which is, which is wonderful news. A uh, very interesting species. Um, we'll we'll have, maybe have a little look later and see if we can see some. This is a glorious stretch of Cotswold wildflower meadow here. Uh, it's never been ploughed, it's too steep obviously, it's never had in, uh, pesticides or insecticides by the look of things. And you've just got tons and tons of different wildflowers. These devil's bit scabious, I think this one's called. A lovely name, beautiful. Um, there we go, a bee lands on it just as we, <laughs> they're perfect for bees and butterflies. The yellows are hawkweeds, there are knapweeds, uh, clovers, it's just lovely to see the profusion of wildflowers and there's lots of butterflies here, meadow browns, skippers, um, ringlets. It it's, makes you feel sad because more of the countryside should be like this really. But this little patch here in this valley stretches for quite a long way so um, we'll have a very merry time wandering amongst the butterflies. So we just had a quick look under the stones on the edge of the stream here, and look what we found. Two American signal crayfish. Now, there are lots of ways you can tell they're American crayfish, uh, which are the invaders, which we don't want in our rivers. Um, largely, it's the way that they have these red undersides to their claws with these white bits, and they flash them up and down like this. That's the signal, like semaphore. And this one's, this is the bigger. That's quite small for a crayfish, I think but that's a baby one. This stream probably would have had native crayfish at one stage, but these little invaders have, I suspect, wiped them all out of here, uh, which is a great shame, although these do taste very good. Yeah, this is great, this is like a, a sort of Wild West cattle ranch that has uh, been abandoned. It feels like it in this heat and this dry kind of prairie. We're up here on, this is the Cotswold Plateau, so we've come out of the valley now and we're up on the top. So it's all dry stone walls, little country lanes, and it's quite flat, like a lot of the top of the Cotswolds. It's not actually massively exciting topographically, I suppose. It's, uh, so we're sort of wandering back towards the village now, um, along this long, dusty lane. Um, 
So yeah, it's been a, been a lovely day. We're beginning to feel the heat now and uh, running out of water. So we'll make, make our way back to the cars, I think. Cool.